Hello fellow ice fishermen. So you want to catch a fish out on the ice? Well, I've got some tips for you. Number one, you gotta have your gear. Right there is everything you need for starting to ice fish. That's it. You gotta have an auger that drills into the ice. You have to have an ice skimmer that scoops the shavings out of the hole that you drilled into the ice. You gotta have a rod and reel. Preferably an ice fishing rod and reel. They're smaller. You gotta have a jig that goes onto your line. That's something that is good for fishing from straight down. They call them jigs. You should probably have a pliers in case you get a fish and you gotta get it out of its mouth and it's tricky to get it out. And you probably should have a bucket. Look at my bucket right there. Yeah! To sit your little butt on as you're catching fish. There's one other thing too, uh, you should probably have some wax worms that puts bait on your lovely jig. Wax worms work well if you're fishing for panfish and that's what I suggest when you're fishing for the first time or you're a beginner ice fisherman, they're easier to catch. Now after you've got your gear, the next thing you really need to do is drill some holes into the ice. I suggest going from shallower to deeper water and I drill three holes right away you don't have to do that but start shallow like closer to shore and then move your way out I typically only spend about 10 minutes on a hole if there's nothing happening there and then I move because fish don't move around a lot in the cold water they tend to kind of stay where they are especially panfish in the winter so if you're not getting any action on one of your holes just move deeper, probably like 15 feet or so um, from your previous spot and then fish there for 10 minutes and hopefully you get something. If you don't, then move again. One thing that's probably more important than location on the water is the specific body of water that you pick. I strongly suggest that you pick a smaller body of water to start ice fishing on. Preferably a pond that has pan fish. That makes it easier to catch. You don't have to cover a lot of water and chances are you'll find the fish. That's so much easier. If not, if you have to go on a big body of water, ask as many people as you can where the fish are. If you're not exactly sure where the fish are that you're ice fishing, go where the shanties are. There's a reason why the shanties are there. It's because that's probably where the fish are. All right, let's get to the fishing part. To catch a fish while ice fishing, you jig. That means you kind of hold your pole out. Doot, doot, doot. You just kind of bounce it up and down a little bit. I typically bounce it a little bit and let it still. And I typically get bites after I let it still for a little bit. So the bouncing around gets the fish's attention so they see it moving. And then they're like, ooh, here's my window to come up and snatch it. The traditional ice fishing bait is wax worms. Wax worms for ice fishing work really good. You just put one right on your jig and panfish and perch and such like that. Here's a wax worm. Do you see it? It's so gross. Yeah. All right, enough of me talking about it. Let's see if I can actually do it. <laughs> Not the biggest fish in the world, but hey, this is a great way to get started. Another tip I forgot to say is when you're jigging, get your jig close to the bottom. Let it go all the way down to the bottom and reel it up a little bit and jig it right there, probably a foot above the bottom. That seems to be where most fish hang out. 
Well, good luck to you. I wish you the best. Hopefully you catch something when you go out ice fishing. Maybe some cute little sunfish like this guy. <laughs> All right, give me a number one. You're number one. Thanks for watching. And go catch some fish under the ice. Yeah!